Hey everybody, welcome to Dad, Daughters, and Drinks, where you'll always get at least two of those three. Today you've got me, the Margarita Kid, and I am drinking what's I would call a Mezcalita-inspired margarita. Those two drinks are pretty close, uh, but this is not really either one of them specifically. Um, but either way, it's pretty tasty. Back to the music. So today we're going to be reacting to a, a new band to me, a band I had never heard of before, but somebody requested it in one of my, I think, Nightwish comments uh, for a band called Love Bites. Um, and it was described to me in the comments, and uh, I apologize if this is wrong, but this is kind of what, what it made me think of. It almost sounded like a mashup of, like, The Warning, Nightwish, and Baby Metal. I don't know if that makes sense to anybody, but the way it was described to me, that's how I heard it in my head. Uh, so Love Bites, the song is called Swan Song, uh, with a Chopin intro. Um, so if they're actually playing Chopin, then that this means uh, we're about to hear something classical, at least a little bit, uh, and somebody who's probably got some serious piano chops. And I have no idea if this is an instrumental, uh, if there are going to be lyrics, if there are lyrics, or if they're going to be in English or in Japanese or something else. Uh, but, you know, let's give these guys a shot and see what we get. I found my glasses. All right, here we go. Good opening. So um, I'm just gonna say, like, I I'm not a massive classical music fan, but I've you know listened to a fair share. Uh, and my best buddy is a concert pianist type guy, uh, and I used to watch him play all the time in college. Uh, and so I don't have the level of appreciation where I could really watch something like that and say, oh, she's you know hitting everything exactly perfectly, all the dynamics are correct, and, and everything else. And I'm also not familiar enough with, with the piece itself to know that. But what I do know is that it sounded really dang good to me. Uh, and I'm interested to see how it might tie in with what's about to come. So, so far, sounded good. So, uh, so I'm just going to back up a little bit because this is pretty cool. So it looks like we've got a five-person band. And is this girl playing guitar here, the one that was playing the piano? Because um, she started off, I mean, she was doing some pretty intricate tapping stuff. I don't know the piano that well, but I do know guitar very well. I've played since I was a little kid. And I may not be the world's greatest player or even good anymore because I'm old and I don't play so much. Uh, but I do have an appreciation for, for high-quality stuff. 
uh, she was playing some pretty cool stuff, and I, I couldn't tell if the other girl was also playing along with her. Uh, but in this kind of classical melody that they're playing, it's you know, there's this kind of style. I think this is probably where the Nightwish part came in. It's like this neoclassical metal, uh, like an Ingve Malmsteen type thing or Vinnie Moore type stuff. Uh, that's I've always just really liked that kind of stuff. Or Jason Becker, right? Uh, and here you've got them playing in unison. Uh, which is always kind of a cool thing to hear, you know, going all the way back to you know, when I used to listen to Judas Priest and they would play those, you know, kind of awesome metal solos in unison. Uh, and so it's looking like there's going to be some singing because I'm assuming she just doesn't dance around the stage. Uh, and it looks like, I'm trying to tell if they're all Japanese, this bass player didn't look Japanese to me, but you know, I, I don't know, maybe she is and it's just not looking like it to me. Uh, but I didn't know if they're actually made up from people from different countries or not, because I was told Japanese, but it may just be that this concert is in, in Japan. So maybe I'm getting that wrong. Let me know. But so far, again, so good. Holy moly, I did not expect that voice to come out of her. I don't know what I was expecting to hear, but it was not that. Uh, I mean, very clear, easy to hear. I'm not hearing hardly any accent at all. And it's kind of almost like this deeper, throatier voice than I was expecting to hear. Well, i got to go back a little bit and hear that again. hear I couldn't understand as well as I would like what she was saying not because it wasn't clear but because I don't hear so well so I'm gonna turn the subtitles on and and also I'm just gonna warn people if you haven't watched me react to things before I am somebody who does pause a little bit uh, I should even say a little bit sometimes it's more often uh, than I probably give myself credit for but uh, I do feel like for an honest reaction I have to kind of tell you what I'm thinking and right now, it's that I need to see the lyrics. So yeah, one thing I love about these kind of uh, neoclassical metal songs is the chord progressions are always much more intricate than like a general kind of standard you know metal song. Uh, and here you can almost hear it. You know, it started off as I'm not gonna say necessarily simple, but then you kind of heard the progression getting a little more complex, and then all of a sudden you start hearing these uh, lead you know, kind of classical things kind of subtly joining in to just, you know, increase the complexity of it. It's, it's really awesome. And 
any song that talks about, you know, Valhalla and Gallant Warriors and things is always going to kind of, you know, pull a couple of heartstrings for me. piano so is that guitar player not the pianist is there actually I'm not seeing a piano they must have it sampled or something uh, which is fine uh, but for a second I was thinking maybe there, there was a, a different pianist that was playing right here Yeah, it's funny, I mentioned Judas Priest earlier, and this riff that they just broke into is, sounds like it comes straight out of a Judas Priest album. This is that thing they were playing in the very beginning.
Oh, so, that, so, so first off, so it is the guitar player playing the piano. She did go back to the piano. And I guess that must have happened. I was very, I was thinking I was glad that they gave this guitar player some lead time. Because she's clearly very good. You could tell even from what she was playing in the background. But the other one, that, what I'm thinking in my head of is the pianist, uh, is the one who's been doing most of the, the complicated lead things as far as I can tell. And I don't know if that's, they're splitting it and just the camera work tends to focus more on her for some reason. Uh, but I was seeing her play more of the complicated lead things, but she clearly could do it, so I was glad that they were giving her a shot. And maybe part of that's just to give her, you know, lack of focus so she could go back to the piano, which is pretty cool. I'm glad that she's getting back there. All right, I think you just saw her throw her pick, uh, which is probably, I'm assuming, the last thing she's gonna do before she takes off the guitar and sit at the piano. I'll be right over here. Can somebody tell me if the piano that she's playing right now is the same that she was playing in the beginning, the Chopin Etude? And like, so is that actually, the song is over the top of the Etude? Because if that is the case, that's really awesome. And I, I hate to keep pausing, but I keep having these thoughts. Uh, I'm wondering if some of the guitar parts that she was playing when she was kind of shredding up and down during some of the the verses or choruses were actually this piano part being played on a guitar, or at least adapted for it. Bravo! That was absolutely fantastic. Oh, I can't wait to listen to more of these guys. Uh, I hope all of their music is like this. Uh, this was just fantastic. The These girls can clearly play. Uh, and, and it's a silly thing to notice, but one of the things that almost makes you realize how good somebody is is how bored they can look while they're doing it. Like, not necessarily bored, but they just make it look easy. Like there's no effort going into it, right? Um, people who are, you know, playing at the edge of their capabilities, usually you can tell. Um, and none of them really looked like they were having to struggle with what they were doing at all. Um, the one part I can't comment on is the drums, other than to say they sounded super, super solid to me. I don't know a lot about drums. Uh, so... It didn't sound, I mean, obviously what she was doing was not simple, uh, but I would have to leave it up to percussionists to tell me if, like, that was something that was, you know, absolutely remarkable. But the guitar stuff was great. Um, and, you know, the, the singing was great, the melodies, uh, everything about it was just really, really well done. And I liked the, the kind of the intertwining of the classical piano and the chord progressions and, and everything else. This was just, I can't believe I've not heard of these guys before. Um, and let me know, like, about the band. I mean, I, I could do the research as well, but I like to hear from you guys because uh, you can usually give me little extra tidbits than what I would find if I were just looking into it myself. Uh, are these girls from Japan? I thought somebody said that they were a Japanese band, um, but it could just be that this concert was in Japan because uh, it looked like... Not all the girls looked like they were, were Asian. Uh, the girl playing bass, maybe it was just the red hair threw me off. Uh, looked Caucasian and the 
the other girl playing uh, the guitar, the one who, who didn't play the piano, almost seemed more like uh, Latina to me. Uh, but, you know, makeup and hairstyles and things these days. And I'm just, you know, I'm a dude. I can't tell these things real well. So uh, maybe I'm just completely off the mark on all this stuff. But I'm just kind of, in, you know, legitimately curious. Because if they are from a lot of different countries, then it would be interesting to hear how they all got together to do this band. In any case, this was really awesome. I'm looking forward to doing more of their music. Uh, and thanks, everybody, for joining me in watching this pretty awesome video and I hope everybody has a great day.